It's more complicated than that too though because when we have a dialogue, say, and, and we're, we're mutually attempting to climb towards the truth instead of convincing each other that we're right, say, then what we're doing is engaging in the simultaneous fragmentation of old and archaic belief systems and they're updating. And you can experience that because someone will say something that, that sets you back and then you'll get what they're saying and it'll click together and what you're experiencing is the death of a of, a, of an old conceptualization structure, it's disintegration, and then it's reconfiguration in a tighter, in a tighter order. And people love that, they live for that, it's, it's, it, it's, it really, it's what keeps you alive. And you can experience that in a deep conversation, a, a truthful conversation, a meeting of the minds and soul. And people love that, it's curative. All psychotherapists know this, because what you do in psychotherapy, as well, uh, in addition to helping people face the things that they're most afraid of so that they can overcome them is to allow them to tell someone the truth what happened to you? I'll listen so they tell you and they take themselves apart and put themselves together while they're speaking the truth about what happened and it puts them together it's at the, you know, the, the two fundamental elements of psychotherapy are Let's find what you're afraid of and avoiding and help you confront it so that you can gather the information that's there. And let's allow you to lay your story out in all of its catastrophe and detail so that you can straighten yourself out through speech. That's exactly what happens in psychotherapy. So and it should happen in every real relationship. It's, it's the spiritual purpose of a marriage fundamentally, right? Because you face someone who's different than you that you're tied to and cannot run from. And so you can reveal yourself. Really, really, it's a, critical, it's a critical part of marriage. Because if you can run from someone, they will never show you their true face. Because if someone shows you their true face, you will run. And so you say in a marriage ceremony, I will allow you to show me your true face and I will not run. And unless you mean that, you'll never be married. You'll never understand what it means. And you'll never reap the benefits of it, which are practical, obviously, but also spiritual and psychological. There's a reason for the vow, but it has to be a vow. Because otherwise you have a back door open and you'll never really tell the person what you're like. And no bloody wonder, because really, who wants to know what you're like? <laughs> Not even you, that's for sure.